Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to talk about LMDE, Linux Mint Debian updates. So let's get to it. So, right now I'm in my bare metal computer in Firefox at the Linux Mint website. And Linux Mint 22 was released a week or so ago, and I did quite a few videos on it. And just in case you don't know, uh, Linux Mint has four flavors. Or, yeah, let's call them flavors. <laughs> so they have their main one, which is Linux Mint based on Ubuntu. And it comes in with three different ISOs. One is the Cinnamon desktop environment. The other one is the Mate desktop environment. And the other one is the XFCE desktop environment, three. Then it has one that totally bypasses Ubuntu, and it's based on Debian. And it only comes in the Cinnamon desktop environment. But, hey, once you've installed it, you can install uh, the Mate desktop environment or the XFCE desktop environment or the awesome window manager or any window manager or desktop environment that's available in it. Okay, so Linux Mint recently updated to 22. And just in case you're wondering, these are the ones Linux Mint 22 recommended. It comes in three flavors, or three different ISOs, and the Linux Mint LMDE6, which is based on Debian, only comes in one with the cinnamon. But like I said, you can install any desktop environment or window manager on it that's available in the Debian repos. On July 24th, the Linux Mint team put up this blog that they were releasing Linux Mint 22, and it was ready to use. And if you read here, the release will be announced this week. It will be followed by upgrade instructions for Linux Mint 21.3 and package backports to LMDE6. So in order to... Uh, upgrade from 21.3 to linux mint 22 number one you had to go through a special upgrade process or a brand new fresh installation but with linux mint debian they don't do that they backport it why do they backport it i don't know but i have to ask the question and i'm not a developer but if they could backport it into linux mint debian why can't they backport it into Linux Mint Ubuntu? Why do you have to go through a special upgrade process? I don't know. But they do this every year, so <laughs> it's nothing new. You might not be aware of it if you're new to Linux Mint. That's the only thing. Now, if we go to this page, Linux Mint 22 Wilma released. It was released on July 25th. And, of course, there's instructions here on how to upgrade and I did a video on this already, so I'm not going to go through this or spend too much time on it. Then if you go to this one here, how to upgrade to Linux Mint 22. This page tells you how to upgrade to Linux Mint 22. It is now possible to upgrade Linux Mint 21.3 to version 22. And they give you instructions on how to do it. But like I said, I already did a video on this, so I'm not going to go through this again. Now, the only thing is that's interesting is they don't tell you if the backports to the Debian version of Linux Mint have been done. So I have a Debian system, and what I'm going to do is go through the regular update process and see if it brings it in. Because they don't say that they've done it. Now, I know last summer, I think about a month later, they announced that the backports are ready for the Debian version. But they haven't made any announcement yet, so I don't know if they just did it or not. So we're going to find out. Now, just another thing I want to show you is on DistroWatch, they did a poll asking people which Linux Mint they like the best. And look at this. 35%, the highest percentage, prefer LMDE, Linux Mint Debian. And you know what? I voted for it, and I voted for LMDE. 
because I don't know, I really don't like Ubuntu. So it's, that's interesting. So now I'm going to close my web browser. So now I'm in a virtual machine of Linux Mint 22. And if you watch my previous videos, I tried to go through the special upgrade process from 21.3 to Linux Mint 22. And after an hour and a half, I gave up and shut the process down. So then I did a brand new fresh install of Linux Mint 22 and did a video on it. So this is it here. So if we open up, and you're probably wondering, well, why are you showing this? I thought we were going to do Linux Mint Debian. I'm going to get to that. So if you open up the uh, software manager, this is Linux Mint 22. And let's just open up a terminal too. So you can just see Neo Fetch. You can just see I'm in Linux Mint 22. So let's close it. So we opened up the software center. And if you go to the hamburger menu, you see this list and we can click on preferences. Now you have all these preferences. Uh, search package and summary, slower search is automatically turned on by default. This one is turned, search packages, description even slower is turned off by default. I didn't change any of these, by the way. Show unverified flat packs not recommended is turned off. And it tells you unverified flat packs represent a huge security risk. They're not officially approved by the developer of the application and could be maintained by anyone. To avoid potential malware, it is strongly recommended not to use unverified flat packs. Now, you can turn it on and it will show you unverified flat packs and you can install them. Now, you're probably wondering wait a minute, this video, they're supposed to be doing an update of LMDE. I'm going to get to it. I just want to mention, <laughs> and I'm going a little bit off topic. But some of the Linux YouTubers were criticizing Linux Mint and making fun of them for adding this in. Because this is a new feature that came with Linux Mint 22, Wilma. And before, they were just showing all the flat packs. So now, like I said, by default, it's toggled off. If you toggle it on, you got to toggle it on at your own risk. And even when you toggle it on and it shows you unverified flat packs, they're not allowing comments for it. So they're not allowing people to comment saying this was great or it wasn't good, it worked, it didn't work, whatever. Like I said, people are criticizing this and I don't know why. Because some of these people love Arch and they use Arch Linux because of the Arch user repository, the AUR. Well, the AUR is the same thing. If you read the Arch Wiki, the Arch Wiki tells you that if you download and install packages from the AUR, you're doing it at your own risk. Because packages in the AUR are not vetted by the Arch developers, and the Arch developers take no responsibility for it. So I don't see what the difference is in between what they say in their wiki, in the Arch Linux wiki, and what Linux Mint is saying here. So some of these Linux YouTubers, I won't say who they are. You know who they are. If you're watching all the Linux YouTubers, they were laughing at this and criticizing it, and they were kind of mocking it. I think this is good. But that's besides the point. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is that if you go into Linux Mint Debian, it's not there. Now we're going to do an update and we're going to see if it's there afterwards. So I'm going to close this. So like I said, this is Linux Mint Wilma. So I have two virtual machines open. Now, this is my Linux Mint Debian. And just to prove it to you, open up my terminal and I'm going to do Neo Fetch. And as you can see, this is LMDE6 Bay. So what I'm going to do is go, th oh, before I go through the update process, let's open up the uh, software manager. And let's open it up. And now you can see the difference because this is the older software manager. So we're going to click on the hamburger menu. And you can see it's already different. 
So it has search and package summary, slower search is clicked on by default because I never changed it. This one's clicked off and refresh list package and there's about. So it doesn't take you into that other menu that gives you those other options and specifically the flat pack options. So the reason why I went in there and now I've gone in here is we're going to do an update because I don't know if they backported. That is, I don't know if the Linux Mint team backported all the changes from Linux Mint 22 into their Linux Mint Debian version. So I'm going to go through the normal update process, come back here and see if the software manager has changed. And I'm not going to do this update in the terminal. I'm going to use the software manager or the GUI. So let's close this and let's open up this. A new version of the update manager is available. So apply the update. Oh, it's asking for my password. And of course, I wasn't intending to do a whole series of uh, videos on Linux Mint. I just ended up doing it that way. So I think this is going to be the last one for a while. So there's 52 updates to do. So let's click on Install Updates. Click on OK. Oh, it's got to put my password in again. And now what I'm going to do is, for sure I'm going to have to reboot. Well, Linux Mint always tells you. I'm going to pause the video and come back when the updates are done, but before I reboot. So don't go away. Okay, it finished. Took five minutes, and I don't even have to do a reboot. So I have a feeling the updates being backported from Linux Mint 22 have not been done yet because they haven't been announced on the website, and this update shouldn't have been so fast. And I didn't have to reboot. So let's close this and let's see what happens if I open up the uh, software center. Let's make that full screen and let's see if we have a new software center. Oh, we do. Preferences. Huh? How about that? We have the new software manager, which has flat packs, unverified flat packs, not recommended, turned off by default and the warning. Now there's another thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> there's another way we can check it. So if we go back to uh, my Linux Mint 22 and just to prove I'm back there, let's just do a NeoFetch and you can see I'm on Linux Mint 22 now. I have two virtual machines open up at the same time. So let's go into backgrounds. And you can see it has, because Linux Mint 22 is called, code name, it's called Wilma. I don't think she's related to Fred Flintstone, but I really don't know. So anyways, if you click on Wilma, these are the wallpapers, the brand new wallpapers that come with Wilma. So let's close this. And let's go back to my other virtual machine. So now I'm back in Linux Mint Debian. And just to prove I'm here, let's do Neo Fetch. Make it full screen. So now you can see I'm in LMDE6 FA, Linux Mint Debian. So let's take a look at the background wallpapers. Let's open it up and make it full screen. Huh, how about that? Oh, wait a minute. Here they are. Wilma and all the brand new wallpapers for Wilma have been installed. And that's it. In this video, I discussed the difference between Linux Mint based on Ubuntu and LMDE6. I showed a poll that was taken at DistroWatch that shows the majority of Linux Mint users prefer Linux Mint Debian. LMDE rather than the one that's based on Ubuntu, even though that one is their main one. I also took you to the Linux Mint website where it states the release of Linux Mint 22 Wilma and another page on the website where it shows you how to upgrade from 21.3 to 22 through a special upgrade process. And I also showed you on the Linux Mint website where they say that the backports to the Linux Mint Debian 
will be coming soon after. But nowhere on the Linux Mint website does it tell you that they've actually done it. That the backports to the Linux Mint Debian have gone through and are ready to go. Which is kind of odd, right? I was a little disappointed about that. So I wasn't sure if the backports had been done to Linux Mint Debian. And usually it takes a few weeks, sometimes a month for them to do it. Then what did I do? I opened up two virtual machines. I opened up a virtual machine of Linux Mint 22 Wilma, and I opened up a virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian LMDE6 Fay. And I showed you one difference between the two software managers. How in the new software manager, they classify uh, flat packs as verified and unverified and how the unverified ones are blocked by default, and how that's not available in the older package manager that's in the Debian version. Then I updated Debian, and of course, it, I just updated it through the regular update process. It wasn't a special upgrade process to go through. It only took five minutes, and I didn't even have to reboot because there was no kernel update. Well, actually, I did an update about a week ago, and there was a kernel update, so I did have to reboot. But in this update, like I said, it was recently updated. So I only had 55 packages to update, and there was no reboot to do because there was no kernel, new kernel installed. And it only took five minutes. So at the end of the update, I was kind of wondering whether the backports had been done. And I thought maybe I wasted my time doing this video. Then I opened up the software manager and it has the new software manager with the preferences and the flat pack, the unverified flat packs turned off by default and a toggle switch to turn it on and the explanation and warning about unverified flat packs. And then I went into the wallpapers and it has all the brand new wallpapers from Linux Mint 22 Wilma. So I think it's safe to say that the backports have been done to Linux Mint Debian. And that was really easy. I don't know why the updating and the upgrading on the Ubuntu system can't be that easy. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. I am the Lennox Mensch.